My name is Giovanna. I'm 22 years old. I'm Brazilian and I'm currently in a double degree program here at the MT Atlantique in a partnership with my university in Brazil, UFAJ, that's Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. I discovered very early about the importance of effective cancer diagnosis and treatment in my own family and that became sort of a personal battle for me. I was very curious about this area of nuclear technology. Somehow I put two and two together and decided I wanted to be a nuclear engineer and I'm very passionate about it. In Brazil, there is a non-profit organization called Fundação Estudar and is an organization formed by visionary Brazilian leaders that want to make groundbreaking change in our country and in the world. Every year, they promote a program called Líderes Estudar to recruit 30 new young Brazilians to be a part of the organization and provide us with intellectual and financial aid to provide us with this network and to empower these exceptionally talented Brazilian people. It is destined for young Brazilians that are going abroad to acquire more knowledge and then come back with this knowledge to our country and help us develop. And that was the award I won. Winning this prize was like stopping and breathing up just a breath of fresh air to tell myself, you can do this and you can do so much more. So I think that it was the recognition that I needed to go even further now. I found out about the MT Atlantique at my university. The MT Atlantique was the one that seemed to me that prepared us the most for the job market because we could learn and apply what we learned all at the same time, not only during the practical work sessions during classes, but also during workshops and projects that we have contact with Rio companies. And I think that makes a very big difference. I think here things are much more interdisciplinary than I've ever experienced before. So it was incredible to arrive at university and already be in touch with big companies and have the opportunity to do an internship with the government as I did uh, at the Yahrasen. And all of that while speaking a new language, I think that made me grow a lot as a professional and as a person. After I decided I wanted to be a nuclear engineer, there was only one program that was in Rio and I come from the northeast of Brazil, a very small city. So I moved to Rio when I was 16 years old to start university. And on my first semester, I discovered about the opportunity of doing this double degree program in France. I wanted to do everything that was in my power to be able to get there. I started with my grades. I started learning French by myself. And after, I needed extracurricular activities. So I started as a tutor in modern physics and experimental physics. Then I was a volunteer in cancer institutes in Brazil to experience a a little bit about that role that I wanted to get into. After that, everything started to come together. I started out in projects in collaboration with Acta CERN, that's the European Organization for Nuclear Research. And it was also a personal dream of mine to one day get there because I knew that if there was a place in the world that was looking for answers, this place was the CERN. That led me to an internship at the CERN, uh, where I worked with nuclear safety systems there uh, for the, the large hydro collider, the largest uh, particle accelerator in the world. And just after that, that's when I started my double degree here in France. So I came to the MT Atlantique. I started out my second year, so first year in health engineering to learn the basis of health and what I could do to get inside that world to nuclear technology. And now I started my third year and last year of the double degree in the TAF de Maitoal, continuing my path as a nuclear engineer. My path up until now, it was very research oriented. I always wanted to be a scientist. So naturally, I've always wanted to do a PhD. And I didn't know that there was an opportunity to do that here when I arrived, but now is what I want the most, is to stay here in France and continue my studies so I can acquire all the knowledge and experience that I can here to help friends to develop their nuclear sector and bring this knowledge back to Brazil and to Latin America as well after.